Hi, this is Jordan from Rapido Trains, and I'm back for our February 2023 unboxing. We have several products here today that uh, we're going to be going over. Of course, you can see I already have our E8s. Uh, this is the second batch of E8s in front of me here. We've also got the X3 uh, tank cars, which we'll be looking at in a little bit, plus the Fruhoff trailers in a variety of, uh, of, of lengths and body styles. That'll be uh, later in the video as well. So why not uh, start off right now with the E8s? As you can see, I've got all of the paint schemes in the second batch uh, set up in front of me here. We have the Canadian versions on this side. We've got CP, that's the As Delivered uh, CP Maroon scheme. We've got the more standard CP scheme. We have VIA, both the original uh, low 1800 numbered uh, versions and the higher uh, renumbered versions. This is actually an exclusive for Otter Valley Railroad and uh, you can visit their website to pre-order those. And of course, we have CP Multimark, which we're going to unbox in just a second. On the U.S. side, in this batch, we have Amtrak Phase 1, New York Central in the Cigar Band. We have Erie Lackawanna in the uh, gray, maroon, and, uh, and black scheme, plus the uh, Burlington route. Uh, that's the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy variations in, uh, in a couple of uh, uh, paint variations as well. So uh, why don't I start uh, right in with uh, unboxing the CP unit. Here we got our exploded uh, parts diagram. We've got lots of stickers. We're really keeping that sticker factory in business. Instruction manual, made to look like an original uh, kind of EMD style manual that'll have all your information inside there, operating instructions and whatnot. So it's always a good read, so make sure you uh, have a look at that. Uh, we do have a couple of optional parts. That's the, uh, the wind deflectors uh, inside the optional parts pack. Now we'll... Uh, Take the locomotive out. There is a CP in the very distinctive action red multi-mark uh, paint scheme with the five inch uh, nose and uh, rear striping. So let's have a closer look at the details. Like our other E8 locomotives in HO, our model includes prototypically correct nose details and correct back end details, two different sides with or without portholes, three different steam generator options, 36 inch or 48 inch fans, or non-dynamic brake options as uh, you can see on most of uh, the models in this run. We have single or dual headlight configurations, freight or passenger pilots, three styles of side grille, skirted or non-skirted fuel tanks, original square, sloped or high at roller bearing journal boxes, and with all the units, we have the die-cast chassis with our smooth-running drive system. Sound-equipped units also include V5 ESU sound decoders. So next, let's head over to the test track for a quick operating demonstration. So that's a quick look at the second batch of E8 models that we've just shipped out uh, in the last couple of weeks. Um, and also stay tuned, uh, probably pretty soon we're also going to be doing a video review of the Heartland Hobby Wholesale exclusive E8 models. We've got several different uh, paint schemes in that run, so stay tuned for that uh, coming soon. So next we have our Union Tank Car X3 tanks. These are a 10,000 gallon tank car and as you can see they are available in any color you like as long as it's black. Now, the X3 was probably one of the most common tank car designs. They were first uh, built in the 1920s with production 
uh, continuing into the mid to late 1950s. Many of these cars also lasted uh, well into the 1970s before they were replaced with uh, more larger capacity versions. And pretty much they could be used for almost any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of service from uh, oil to vegetable oils, gasoline and whatnot. They were seen everywhere, all over North America, uh, regardless of what road, uh, you'd see them pretty much all over the place. Our all-new X3 tank car includes the following features. Correct 54-inch diameter dome, either Andrews or Bettendorf Castile trucks with 33-inch turn metal wheels, full underbody detailing with two distinct brake systems offered. You can either have the earlier K brakes or the later AB brake systems. We have correct end platforms, correct UTLX style warning placard holders, correct coupler cut bar and handbrake mountings, Rapido semi-scale couplers and coupler boxes, accurate paint and lettering with multiple road numbers and names available for each paint scheme. First release paint schemes include UTLX in the 1920s delivery scheme, the later UTLX 1930s scheme, products tank car, Atlantic Refining, UTLX in the 1950s paint variation, Procore Limited, also from the 1950s, the distinctive Eastman chemical cars, Seaboard Airline, this is a fuel oil car which uh, includes ACI label, so that would be accurate for the late 60s and uh, 1970s, also Northern Pacific, and undecorated with both the K and AV brake variations. So are you, uh, you going to unbox that thing in this uh, unboxing video? Uh, probably a good idea. Th yeah. thanks, for, thanks for that, Jeremy. Let's do it. Not much to it. We've got the box, as usual. Lots of uh, stickers. Take the uh, tray lid off, and uh, there you go. I've got, of course, the instruction manual there that has the exploded parts diagram plus a brief history on the cars. And, of course, the car. As you can see, this is the UTLX, uh, this is a delivery scheme. This has a, actually a March 1920 build date on it and includes the earlier K brakes and the Andrews cast trucks. Last but not least, we have our very long awaited HO scale Fruhoff trailers and we have many different body styles. I've already got a couple of the trailers unpacked and on display here. And I've also got a Penn Central uh, exterior post version as well. So I'll open that up very quickly box. We've got to uh, take the lid off there. Put that aside for one sec. So in the box you do get your exploded parts diagram and whatnot. And uh, each trailer comes with a couple extra parts as well. So this one comes with the dolly feet. And it also has an adapter plate so you can uh, adapt the trailer to go on any kind of different uh, flat car you might have. So that should fit different uh, manufacturers uh, piggybacks. Our Fruhoff trailers come in three distinct variations. We have the 35-foot integral post volume vans, 40-foot exterior post volume vans, and 40-foot fluted side volume vans. Each version comes with or without side doors as appropriate per the road name, and some versions also include either end or underbody mounted refrigerator units. Paint schemes for the 35-foot integral post vans include Boston and Maine, Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western, New Haven in the Trail Liner Scheme, Nickel Plate Road, Pennsylvania Railroad, this is the 1950s truck train version with the side door, as well as Union Pacific. 40-foot exterior post volume vans include Erie, Lackawanna, Lehigh Valley, Penn Central, Pennsylvania Railroad, this is the 1960s version with side door as well, Republic Car Loading, and Western Maryland. For the 40-foot fluted side volume vans, we have Santa Fe, Great Northern, Navajo, Northern Pacific, Pacific Intermountain Express, and Southern Pacific. In addition to all our decorated versions in this release, we've also included all seven versions of our Fruhoff trailers as painted silver and unlettered. So that's a look at all of our February releases. We've got our second batch of E8s. We have our X3 HO scale tank cars and Fruhoff trailers in a variety of uh, styles and sizes. Uh, if you haven't already pre-ordered, these are gonna be shipping out. If they haven't already shipped out, they're shipping out very soon. 
So see your dealer, visit us uh, on our, uh, our website, repeatotrains.com, and order while supplies are available. Uh, we will be back again pretty soon with another unboxing, probably in March. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time. Bye now. They're in the warehouse and we're getting ready to ship them out. So uh, you'll want to uh, grab these while they're available. It's a trailer. Put it on your flat car. Peace out. <laughs> it's a trailer.